So this is this chat's going to be. I'm going to be talking specifically about the conservatorship, trust fund, Vanessa, the people over her, um, a little bit about the lawyers. So I kind of wanted Jared to be on live with me. Um, who is Vanessa? Good. Um, so let's start with the conservatorship. Um, when we first were rescued, we were all placed on the conservatorship. I will overall tell you, I mean, there was bad, there was, I guess, good they came out of it, you know, like, we at least, you know, we had a place to live, we, um, it was because of them that I, you know, we got into our first apartment, we got on the thing, um, to help us pay for it, um, we got into therapy and stuff like that. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that they didn't teach us. Um, we ended up having to, like, figure it all out. But all in all, I personally think it made me smarter in trying to figure out things. And I did really well figuring it out. And you got to remember, this is from my point of view. Everyone that was, every single one of us that was under the conservatorship or people that saw it that wasn't a part of it but saw the outside of it, they're going to have their own views too. I'm, also, something I just found out recently is some people think that Vanessa has something to do with the younger siblings. She was a part of, like, the older, like, conservatorship thing. She, um, and it's not even Vanessa, it's the, the public guardian office. It was, um, the entire office, and they had nothing to do with the younger siblings. Who is Vanessa? Vanessa is someone, okay, so if you watch the 2020 special, and, um, they, they literally chased Vanessa Espinosa down to her house, um, was like, found her at work, it was, it was bad, and I was like, it, like, most of the stuff that happened wasn't even her fault. I don't know, I was kind of surprised they actually went that far, but they were making a huge point about her and her name. So, in the beginning, and even throughout, she, so she, so in the beginning, she always would, like, treat us to Starbucks, treat us to so many things, like, she would literally, like, just go out of her way and do something for us. But she got in trouble because her bosses and everyone else was saying that it's um, that they're your client. You're not supposed to do that. And she would get in trouble. She was afraid of losing her job. So she she stopped buying us little things. She stopped um, treating us to things. And then she would like secretly try to like give us something or she would like go out of her way to make sure that we got the trust funds we needed or um fight with the court and our conservative lawyers i gotta get to that they they're the ones i have a huge problem with is our lawyers but she tried she tried to like be nice to us and she would get in trouble for it and she literally like here's here's the thing about the trust fund we had the money throughout the conservatorship. The problem was not that they took money. They didn't take money from us. The problem is, is they have it. And we can only get it if we ask for it from them. Now, I used most of my trust funds, so thank you guys, to pay off my schooling. And I... My medical assistant class was close to 30000 It was like 20-something 20, 20 thousand dollars. And my um, phlebotomy was like over 3000 And it was the original trust fund that paid it off. So I did get to use most of it, you know? And I've been able to pull some here and there. And I've got to work on closing it out. But I have to go through the conservative lawyers. But I don't really want to talk to them again. So yeah, I get to thank y'all. I want to thank I wanted to everyone to thank y'all for so long for that part. Like, oh my gosh, like if it wasn't for the trust fund, I'd be in debt like everyone else that went to school. <laughs>
It was Vanessa's idea. Like, she was like, well, I can help you pay off those loans. You can use your trust fund. And I'm like, that's exactly what I wanted to use my trust fund to begin with, was to help get into college and, you know, and, you know, start a career and use it to pay off the school. So that was perfect. I was like, yes. But the thing is, is my point was it wasn't directly her. And I thought it was wrong of them to pinpoint her. It was her bosses above her. She tried to do things for us. She tried to reach out. She it's the whole office pretty much, but her directly didn't, didn't do anything wrong. And any of the like bad stuff that I could like go on and on and on about, like that was because of her bosses. I don't know. Like, and I didn't even see everything. This is just what my understanding of it, what I saw. Um, like I said, it's also through only my eyes. Um, each one of us probably has a completely different story. But I wanted to kind of clear that up. Yes, we got to spend some of our trust fund. No, they did not take it from us. Um, no, Vanessa's name shouldn't have been dragged to the mud like it was. And she lost like, like so much. And it was, it was, they, they should have just went directly like the office itself. Like they need to fix things. They need to fix how they're working, but they just took it way too far. How do we know Vanessa isn't just telling you to say this to the public? Well, you don't. Um, but I can tell you she didn't. Um, I've been wanting to come clean about, like, everything, but I don't know, like, I just had to find the right time and... But yeah, I understand you're, you're concerned about that, but you can rest assured I will never let anyone tell me what to say, what, how, or anything like that. Um, this is literally to clear my conscience and to, and to let you guys know, like, what really happened through my eyes. And like I said, each one of us have a completely different story. It, it wasn't necessarily her and she at least tried. She at least tried to, like, do things for us. Vanessa Espinoza, the former public guardian for the Turpin children, says she will cooperate with Riverside County's investigation into alleged mistreatment that they experienced after uh, their rescue. Espinoza is accused of neglecting her responsibilities to help the seven adult Turpin children find housing, health care, food support, education, and other benefits to which they were entitled.